The beleaguered Steinhoff Group has assembled an ethics subcommittee, but this has raised eyebrows as those who had presided over the alleged fraud would now be probing it. Steinhoff said that uh, the committee would, be, uh, would bolster independent governance of the group. It consists of independent non-executive directors headed by the former Sandlim CEO, that is Johan van Zeil. Other members include the former APSA CEO, Steve Boysen, and the former investment banker, Heather Sun. But analysts have expressed concern over the new ethics committee. They say it was the duty of the committee members to prevent fraud as they were members of the Steinhoff board. Meanwhile, the chorus grows for heads to roll at Steinhoff. The Public Accounts Committee wants the Hawks to charge and to prosecute the guilty. And another parliamentary committee on the public enterprises wants law enforcement agencies to be involved. Labor Union Federation producer wants the entire Steinhoff board investigated. And calls for the JSC, that is the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, to take more decisive action. Kosati seeks all implicated parties to be held accountable, prosecuted and sent to prison. Gunning for Steinhoff Chair and Interim CEO Christo Viss Kosati says this scandal unfolded right under his watch. The South African Communist Party says the scam is a fallout of cowboy capitalism of Christo Viss, Marcus Huster and cohorts. Now they call it tax dodging and massive, clearly engineered capital outflows from South Africa. The Standing Committee on Finance today expressed outrage at what has happened at Steinhoff and has condemned the company's behavior. The committee has urged the Financial Services Board, South African Reserve Bank, the Independent Regulatory Board for Auditors and the Johannesburg Stock Exchange to expedite their investigations and release the outcomes to the public. It's a committee because we... we we deal with uh, the public service and administration, which generally looks at uh, issues about the administration of our country and particularly the civil service who, who work uh, in government. And in this case, there are uh, pensions through the pension fund and PIC in particular were are involved in the Steinhoff as a a shareholder, and I think the value of uh, the loss that uh, is in Kate is at, uh, at about 12.5 12 billion. And of course, we are happy that government has uh, assured public servants that their pensions are guaranteed, which is, is very good. But despite that, we we feel that government, and in particular the Finance Service, uh, Service Board, should look into this matter as to what happened. We know that uh, the markets are volatile, but you know the volatility where a company m moves from 96 rand to 5 rand in a single day, it's, uh, it's problematic. Uh, what is it that Steinhoff did, what is it, which is incorrect? The, that must be investigated, and uh, if any wrongdoing is found from anybody, I think the law must take its course, and I think as a country, we, we, we should not allow a situation where there is lawlessness and those in the private sector uh, gamble with people's monies because there's clearly this is what has happened. There is something wrong in the deal itself. Yeah. We expressed our outrage at what's happened and our condemnation of the behavior by Steinhoff. And for us, it confirms once again the need for tighter regulation and monitoring of companies and far more effective regulatory bodies in this regard. We're concerned not just about the PIC and GEPF losses that are experienced now and the effect it will have on government employees and their pension funds, but also the possibility of job losses in the companies that Steinhoff owned. And we're concerned too about others outside the government uh, public service employees who have a lot to lose, or are in fact having lost uh, large amounts of money. So we're working with SCOPA, the Standing Committee on uh, Public Accounts, to, as soon as Parliament reconvenes in late January, to bring the regulatory bodies, uh, the FIC, P G E P F, uh, and other stakeholders uh, before us. Now remember, we can't, as Parliament or Parliamentary Committee, substitute for the role of the Reserve Bank, the Independent Regulatory Board for uh, auditors and the financial services board they must do their work and we're going to call upon them uh, in a later today 
to expedite the process and report back to the public on the outcomes and also, of course, Parliament. They have written to the Hawks to uh, demand that they thoroughly and decisively uh, investigate the matter. I think the facts are there. Um, president or no president, uh, these things must happen. And I'm convinced that um, the way in which the public has risen to this matter, and especially the way ANN7 has um, given platform to this matter to be understood by ordinary people, I think the public pressure will be too much for anybody to try and sweep it under the carpet.